I hope you guys are having a great day today. So for today's video, I brought my boyfriend. That's me. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Chaz? Mm. Charmeleon? Charmander? Mm. His name's Charles. This is my boyfriend Charles, and we thought it would be kind of fun today to do... What is this? Tell him what it is. Tier this lists. Is, this was his idea. Tier lists. Okay. And ranking expl things. Explain it to them. I feel like people know what it is. Well, just ex I didn't know what it was, so it's explain it. Ranking things by order of goodness. I don't think that's a word. So we found this website, it was called Tier Maker, and basically it already has things put into categories and you just get to choose and like decide. What do you have there? Get, stop, don't pluck your own eyebrows, you psycho. So which one are we doing first? You can pick. <laughs> okay, it's screen recording, so we should be in a little box if everything went well. Coming to you from a new camera angle. So. Because I complained too much because I couldn't see myself. He did complain way too much. So, we're first going to be doing Harry Potter characters. Yes. This I feel passionately about. I'm not like a huge Potter head, but I definitely like Harry Potter enough that I have some opinions about this. And I, I feel like you do too. Yes, I have So some. I've read the books. So does S, S means the best, right? Correct. And D is the worst? Correct. What do these stand for? I don't know. They're just letters. A, B, C, D, and then S is like superior. Got it. Okay. They just did the colors weird, so like green would make me think. You know what I mean? Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Professor McGonagall, what do we think? I would sh say that she's a solid B. Really? Yeah. I would have put her in the S. This is going to be tough. <laughs> she's so good. She can turn into a cat. She's like the only one who actually treats Harry like he's not a celebrity and like a normal person. She gets True. pissed at Dumbledore when he uses Harry. Sorry if there's spoiler alerts to Harry Potter. If you've never seen it, you're going to get it spoiled. But in my defense, it's been out for like 25 years. She defends Harry when Dumbledore like does all that shady stuff at the last book. I mean. She's a queen. She's yeah, an icon. But she's also just kind of like, she doesn't really do anything important ever right like I guess <laughs> define important she like stands at the Battle of Hog Hogwarts like she does some stuff all right well let's put her at a then you really don't mind that because no. I feel like she's fantastic like she's so good okay this guy do you remember him he was in the third book in the third movie What's his name? He's, I don't remember, but he's terrible. Do you remember his name? Is it Slughorn? No. He was the Defense Against the Arts. Wait, maybe it was Slughorn. He was the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher in the third books, and he was terrible. The third book? Isn't he the one that... Maybe it was the second book, or the second movie. Yeah, isn't he the one that, like, gets bit by the basilisk or whatever? Or with the basilisk? Yeah. Yeah, that's the second one. Okay, it? yeah. So this guy, awful, right? Yeah, we can both terrible. agree. Okay, Neville. Uh, literally kills, class. literally kills Voldemort. And uh, Google per current picture of him. He's so he he's an S class for he's sure. Okay, Hagrid. Obviously an S class. Yeah. Not even a question. Sirius Black? I don't like Sirius Black. I know that's an unpopular opinion. He's kind of an edgelord, but he's like, all right, we'll put him at B. I say B. I would say C. He doesn't, what does he do except die? Come into Harry's life, give him hope, and then die. Does he what else does house? he do? It's yeah, but that, house, but that house is like, it's compromised. It's like a whole, he's giving him taxes. That's what he's giving him when he gives him a house. No, I, I feel like he's, uh, let's rank some other ones. And, and then, then we'll go to him. See, this is the one that we're going to disagree on, right? Harry here. Potter? I think that he is just D class. Like D? He, he is such a fuck boy. Harry Potter is a fuck boy. I he is he is I was thinking like B like middle mm. of the road because he I, did like save the magical universe but he also like but he whined the whole time so like maybe <laughs> but maybe, like he had a lot going on <laughs> he had a thing, lot of trauma that he had to go through he was living with abusive like abusive caretakers when we met him yeah but he's I don't know he he's was just, basically like a guinea pig for the Harry for, was never a likable hero to me really yeah so you think D. Yeah, and even look at that picture of him. I'll give you... <laughs> right? <laughs> He does look a little evil in that picture, but I don't think that's Daniel Radcliffe's fault. I have to say, I'll give you this if you give me this. Oh, uh, queen, I'm not like other girls. I, <laughs> I love Luna. She's actually not like other girls. She's not. She's not like other girls. Yeah, she's where that stereotype comes no, from. No, she's not. She's not that type of girl. She's not the I'm not like other girls. She's just legitimately weird. I don't I don't have a problem with Luna. I, so she can be in the S class if we yeah, put Harry down fine. here. Because I feel like Luna is like legitimately my favorite character. Like, I absolutely love her. Yeah. She just loves, she's weird and she loves it, you know? Like, right on, Luna. Be your weird self. I'm that. not like other, that is not what Luna is. <laughs> People are gonna get mad at me for that Yeah, one. that was rude. Okay, Ron. Ron Weasley. I'd, I'd say he's a solid A. 
He's a bro. I would put him in B's. I'm not gonna lie. I, I would want him to be my best friend in a magical wizarding school. He's got a cool he was, family. But he's kind of low-key, like, kind of low-key, in, like, the magical world, low-key says some things that are, like, pretty ignorant. Like, Hermione has to school his ass on, like, like magical segregation. He's, like, low-key, like, mean to muggle-born people. I mean, the books take place in what? It was the 90s. The 90s? So how woke does a he have A different time, you're right. Okay, I'll give him an A. This one, though, you're gonna be a jerk, and I know you are. I like Hermione. I love Hermione. I think she's my favorite character. She's probably, her and Luna are probably, which is super stereotypical, but they're probably my two favorites. I really like Hermione. So... Yeah, I'd give her an A. Or an S. An S class, you think? Yeah. I feel like we have too many people up here. Well... Well, I mean, we're still undecided on Sirius. So let's go back to him. Voldemort? He's a good villain. Is he, though? He he's is. He's not even in the books. No. Yes, he is. He's in, he's every, in the all, books. He, every he time rises in, in the fourth book. But every time he's in the book, he's in it for a chapter, and then all he does is lose, and then they move on. I do think it took him a very long time he to kill, even kill a baby. A baby, yes, that was a flaw. Like, talk about if there was an, uh, if anything, I'd put him at like an F. But I feel like his backstory was so good, like the Tom Riddle backstory and like all of that stuff. I feel like was so good. Oh, Charles said something behind the scenes that made me understand his perspective, so I will put him at a D. Dumbledore is like a B for me. Really? See, I feel like Dumbledore is like a C. You think he's lower? He's kind of a jerk. Like, he kind of, like... He's, like, a terrible principal. Yeah, like, he's not good. <laughs> he's a good. terrible guardian. Like, everyone... You know what, though? I would... I'll put it... I'll give him a B. Because, like, he's he's okay on his own right. But he's also, like... He had some issues that he, like, did... He, like, wasn't... At, remember when he just ignored Harry for, like, two books straight and, like, wouldn't yeah. tell him what was going on? Like, we'll put him at B for now. Because, like, he still is... He's Dumbledore, you know? Like, he's a, yeah. he's a good person. Yeah. But, like, man, he had some weird stuff See, going this on. See, is, this is, you're going to disagree with me here, but I feel like... Malfoy? Solid A. He is such a whiny little but bitch. He, I feel you like, cannot call Harry Potter a fuckboy and then put Malfoy as an A. I feel like Malfoy is a compelling villain. I do. He's a whiny little daddy's boy. I feel like he's, he's literally He's literally every rich kid you went to school with. He's literally the kid that walked around with, like, fake Gucci and an iPhone before everyone else and was like... Oh, you have a problem with me? Well, talk to my father. See, he just donated that's the how library. He starts, though, but like that's how he ends. End, he's a little douche. Oh. He literally at the Battle of Hogwarts when they were losing, they literally he's ran got, away. Like, he's they got, ran like, away. Internal struggles about he wants to be a good guy, but he's got to follow in his father's footsteps. At least give the man a B. I would say he's an A. I'll settle for a B, but I will not give Malfoy an A because he's a terrible character. I can't stand him. Okay, Dobby. I mean, Dobby's good. You yeah. Think you would you you just good though. No, I, I, I don't have a problem with that. I would say satisfaction. I feel like we have way too many people up here, though. Yeah, I, I can think of two that need to, to get bumped down. Who? Neville. Yeah, now that we've done it, more, but I, I also don't think Luna should be there. But but I gave you Harry Potter down here, yeah. so if you want to bump up Harry Potter, we can bump down Luna. All right. Where do you think Neville should go, though? Because I low-key think B. His character this wasn't man, that great. He killed the snake. He killed. I know, I know, but his character wasn't that... Neville, like... Neville is like the actual hero of the story. I guess you're right. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. And I would keep everything else the I'd same I'd put right the rest now. of them in. I'd put Dre... The, uh, okay, we could give Sirius a C. Yeah, because he's like, whatever. And Lucius, just get, who cares? Take him off. Can you throw him <laughs> off the screen? I like actually Is there like an F not tier? care less about Lucius. Give him a D. Yeah, he's not great. All right, looking at the list we have, you can bomb Harry up to a C. I would agree with that. Because he's better than those three. He's no, wait, than though. Them. I like, oh no, I don't like Voldemort, yeah. No, we don't like any of them, really. I, I'd, I'm happy with this list. I satisfied. My two faves are at the top, which makes me happy. Because Luna and Hermione are definitely, like, my faves. They're great. The Luna, Luna's the only one that I'm like, mm. Where would you put her, though? B. Luna? She's Maybe an so, A. She's so free-spirited and fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was our Harry Potter ranking. So now we have fast food. Oh, I have opinions here. I, we live in a place where there's not all of these things. We live in upstate New York. We have, uh, but we've eaten all, everything on here. I've think, never right? eaten at White Castle. You've never had the, and the I've never had White Castle. I've never burger. had, I've never had In-N-Out. I've never had White Castle. I've never had Jack in the Box. I've eaten everything here except for I don't know what's in between Dairy Queen and In-N-Out. <gasps> Five guys. All right, let's just start. What's can your we, favorite on this Can we start list? at the bottom? Can we start that Taco Bell is the best? Yeah. Okay. I mean... We can both agree to that's, that. That's not negotiable. We love Taco Baja Bell. Baja Blast. Oof. Their tacos are great. Okay. I'll tell you right now. If Arby's is anywhere but the very bottom... I'm, I'm 
you know what? Arby's makes me kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. Where would you put a place like Chipotle? I don't like Chipotle. Knowing anymore. what I, I used to like Chipotle. But Chipotle, Chipotle, <coughs> Chipotle is like one of my Sorry. favorite places. But I feel like they've just gotten bad. You only eat. I eat the quesadillas and the like, pico. That's literally for like kids. I like, like mom. I don't like beans. <laughs> I don't like beans. I like Chipotle though. The Taco Bell quesadilla is better than Chipotle That's not quesadilla. true, it's spicy. It's not negotiable. That's absolutely That's not true. It's not negotiable. <laughs> really? Because I'm negotiating it. Let's see. We'll come back to that. What about Burger King? Burger King, you can just give a B. Actually, give it oh, a C. Oh, yeah, C. C. I don't, Little Caesars, I know you hate. That is, the Little Caesars, garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. I disagree with you, but I, I'll put it there. I had to eat it so much as a kid because there's a lot of times that that's, my dad was like, oh, I gotta feed three kids and I don't wanna cook. What can I do for less than 20 bucks? Oh, I know, we'll get you, we'll get Little Caesars pizza. And it's like, you might as well eat the box it comes in. Yeah, he says that a lot. You're, you're kind of a pizza snob though. What about Carl's? I've never had Carl's. I, we just had it. Remember, I, I got a hot dog there and you got- Oh, that was awful. Nope, zero percent. Not okay. a fan. Chick-fil-A. Uh. No, we don't support homophobia. <laughs> End of discussion. Okay. Um, Domino's. Domino's is also garbage. I'm like not a fan of any of these places. Because here's the thing. A lot of people like Domino's. Yeah. But they used to run a five for five, five for, for no, for 10 bucks, you could get a large pizza and a side. And, and we used to eat it in college. Uh-huh. And I can still smell walking back from class when every man in my hallway had gotten a, a a large cheese and pepperoni pizza and it just smelled like garlic and like okay. B.O. and I can't. All right, Dairy Queen. I'd give that an B. A. I'd do a, B. A B is fine. They're good. They're, They're fine. Know. They're fine in a pinch. Five guys, I think it's way too expensive. I'd give it a C. I don't really care about, f I mean, they're good burgers, but, but they're, they're expensive. expensive for like no reason. And they give you all oh, those fries. Oh, I haven't fries. had Jack in the Box either. I've never had In-N-Out. Have you had In-N-Out? I've heard it's really good though. I like if think... we ever no, go no, to California. Yeah, we had it at uh, Golf Ball. <gasps> we Firefly. did, it was so it was really good. good. Okay. So let's give that a B. B, yeah, yeah. That if we had it at a music festival, they had a little tent and it was very good there. Um, Jack in the Box, I, I've never had it. it off because I, I don't think I've ever had it. Uh, KFC. That's a solid A tier for me. I don't really like KFC, but I'll give this I to you. I didn't like eating KFC until they started doing Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning, the peach Mountain Dew. And now you're a fan. Uh, McDonald's. I mean, it's gotta be an A tier, right? It's like a staple fast food. I guess you're right. Like, that's like America runs I'm never like sad that I got McDonald's. I am when their fries suck. Their fries are so hit Your or miss. problem is you don't eat food though. This is like the worst <laughs> one for you to do. Because you only have one specific thing you like at each I will say, places. I love Panda Express. I really, really like Panda Express. Uh, they they have this like shrimp that's so I've good. I've only ever had like microwave Panda Their Express. stuff in store is really, really good. So what do you want to give it? I'd give it a B. Okay. I feel like it's like good, but I know you want to put Papa John's like at the top, but they're racist. I, but the pizza though. <laughs> He's racist. <laughs> the pizza. Pizza, he though. literally left everyone in our state out of a job without notice, and he's a freaking racist. Okay. We can't put him anywhere. Separating. But D. No, we, we can't, can't do that. I refuse. <laughs> I understand. Babe, I, listen, he's so problematic guys, and bad. I don't order from him the anymore. The company fired him. He doesn't work there That's anymore. That's not true. He's still part of the board. No, they fired him off of the board. Are you positive? I'm like 90% sure. I'm gonna research. Sure. He's not sure. He doesn't give her. But the pizza is that's so. It like they when we every year we go everyone, to DC they, and I look forward to staying in the hotel because I'm like I'm gonna order myself a. Fat pizza, they veggie fired. pizza with the garlic dip on the side they, and added grilled chicken. Ooh. They closed every store in New York State and yes. didn't tell the employees until they got to the store with yes. the sign on the door. Well, we they just left did, all we just of did them a whole out Harry for work. Potter ranking, and she's getting in, she's running her mouth off now too. So if we, we should have addressed that. So if we support oh, Harry I Potter, about I can that. support Papa John's. It's not that I support Harry Potter. I don't support the man, but the product is like you and I have differing opinions on this. Pizza Hut is okay. So where do you want to put it? I will not go higher <laughs> than a C. Pizza Hut. I hate Pizza Hut. This is a zero for me. I, I give Pizza Hut like a, like a, like a B. A B? Yeah, bre the breadsticks are good. Nothing about Pizza Hut is good. A Pizzones? Nothing about, I can't, I I'll say it again. Some Pizzones Nothing about day. Pizza Hut is good. I hate Pizza Hut. Okay, if you put Pizza Hut down there, Papa John's gotta go up one. I'll put Pizza Hut here. <laughs> okay. Um, Popeyes. S tier. Okay, I'll give you that. Popeyes. Delicious. I'm not a big pop. Oh, I do like their shrimp though. I love Popeye's, Popeyes. shrimp is really good. Sonic. A That's C. a D tier for me. That's a C. I've for never me. eaten Sonic and not gotten sick. It does make me feel kind of sick. D. Yeah, I guess you're right because it does kind of. Subway? 
I give that a C. I give it. A B. I'll eat sub or a B. I, I give it a B. Yeah. I'm I'll never eat Subway mad. in a pinch. Like if we, if like we can't to go me, to Nabella's. the C tier is like the D tier is stuff I won't even eat. Yeah. The C tier is like I'll eat it, but I'm not happy about it. Yeah. The B is like yeah sure. The A is like okay like yeah that's Good. fine. And then S is like oh yeah <laughs> about to drop twenty five dollars and gain twenty pounds. Okay. <laughs> so Subway would be B. Yeah. Okay. And then Wendy's. I don't really I, like see, Wendy's. I put Wendy's in the B. It's not bad. It's okay. not good. I'll give it to you. White Castle. I would put White Castle. I've I, never had White Castle, I've so I have no opinion. I've only had like the microwave ones, and the microwave burgers are really, this is another meal that my dad, when we were kids, was like, oh, I got to cook for three kids. What can I get for cheap? Oh, I know. So what We'll do you, just go and get two boxes of so where would microwavable you, burgers. So where would you put this? I would put it at a solid, you know, I'd give it an A even, because I really like okay. the White Castle I've burgers. never had it, so I feel skeptical doing that, but yeah. we're back to Chipotle. Give it a B, because it's like, it I'm not mad right when we right putting it there. It feels you wrong. Only, they, you don't even finish the quesadillas because they're too greasy. But Listen. I love it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Chipotle you is will my only life. Eat the cap, you will only eat the... I love Chipotle. This is a meme that Chipotle I don't know. Chipotle is my life. Okay. Oh my God, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. A. You only A B C. You'll only eat. Easiest Chipotle. I'm just gonna go. It's been great, guys. Uh. <laughs> I feel like B. I'll give it a B, but it makes me upset. I'm happy with that. Are you happy with how this looks? I'm happy with this. And Jack in the Box, we can't give an opinion. There's one I want higher, but <coughs> Papa John's. I won't do it. Right. <coughs> I'm good with this. So this is our official ranking. Yeah. I kind of disagree. This is not how I would do it, but like. That's not how I would do it either. So that's fine. <laughs> okay. Are we supposed to be arguing more? All right, you ready? We don't talk to each other off camera. All right, we're recording. Okay. We're doing Pokemon. We both decided that it'd be fun to do ones that, like, maybe he the new knows. The Pokemon are not on here. Just definitely. It's the, it's the original pack. Oh, yes, they are. They're right there. We decided we were going to do ones where I knew a lot about the topic or he knew a lot about the topic, but, like, the other person didn't. So we're doing Pokemon, which is what Charles knows a lot about. I think that you should do this one on your own because I have very strong opinions about this. So I think okay. that you should do this one on your own. And you'll do this and one. And then we can just take, like, a quick screenshot or whatever of me, of my Okay, what you would do it yeah. as. So, right off the bat, like, I love the OGs, you know? Like, Bulbasaur, mm -hmm. Squirtle, Charizard. You put them all in an S tier, so there's no going up from there. I love, these are my OGs. Gen and I, What? She's a Gen 1 -er. Okay. I don't know what that means. <laughs> these are my OGs. I love them. These were, like, the popular ones when I was a kid. Everybody wanted a Bulbasaur, mm -hmm. so, like, these are my OGs. This one's adorable, so I'm going to put that at A+, because it's really cute. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of me when I wear my hair in a half pony, and I, like, flip it, you mm -hmm. know? Like, that's mm -hmm. me. You know what I mean? Chikorita is that's her me. name. She's me. Um, and then I would say this little owl also kind Rowlet. of kind of me. Like, he has I kinda, a very good evolution. I so kind of look at that, cool. and I'm like, me. You know what I mean? Um, people who know Pokemon are probably so pained by this. This one, where what? Kind of ugly. E. Mm. Not a fan. Cyndaquil. This monkey. Chimchar. D. Um, this guy's also kind of ugly. This one's cute. We'll give that name. Grookey. That's one of the new ones. I like that one. I like some of the new ones. Some of the new ones are really cute. This one's also kind of like a me. Fennekin. Like me. Um, this, I hate birds. Torchic. Actually, my most, girl. all of the birds are pretty much going to go that's immediately bottom. I really dislike birds. Um, <laughs> just in general. <laughs> Mine's going to be very different than this. I'll tell you that right what now. What about this one here? Because he looks like he needs friends, actually. Torterra. He looks like he needs friends. Or, this one creeps me out. Froke. That creeps me out. And then this one looks like it could kick some ass. So I'm a fan of that. This one looks like it's going to fart on me. Also creeps me out. Trico. This one's adorable. We'll put her up here. Um, and then this one is kind of fun. This one's a little freaky, but I feel like I don't have enough people in C. This one I think is cute too. No, not that cute. Like that cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not that cute. <laughs> this one's freaky. I don't like this Litten? one. That's freaky. This one's... Ooh, this, that was you just made a very unpopular choice with that with this the market. This one's cap. not cute. Let me look at him really quick. Obviously, my top tier is my like my people, and then these ones are like me. You know what I mean? Like when I look at these three, I'm like. It's funny me. that you say that because Poplio literally is a clown. I'm a so. but me, <laughs> <laughs> me. Um, and turns into a, ones, a diva. Me. Yeah. These ones I just think are cute. These ones are like semi cute slash endearing. These ones kind of freak me out, but not that much. These freak me out, and these I just don't like birds. 
So and nice. lizards and lizards. So that's why they're all there. Solid. So that's that's them. Now, do you want to let me do it real quick, and you can do a? Yeah. We don't, I don't even have to talk. Okay, go ahead. We'll just. So Charles feels like it's important for you guys to know his. Are any of them the same? Probably not. I don't think any single Needless one is the same. to say, water type is my type. Plan. I just want to make sure this is a good makeup one because I feel like it's. So let's try this one. Ooh, we could try makeup YouTubers, too. This definitely has more makeup brands, which is what we want. I don't even know half of these, so... Oh, you're on there! <laughs> oh my god! Am I actually on there? Yeah. Wait, oh my god! <laughs> we were trying to find, like, a makeup... That's all the people that I know. There's a lot of people on here, I don't know. We're not gonna do this one. We were trying to find, like, a makeup tier one that Charles could do, and we clicked on this one that's create a makeup YouTubers tier, and I'm on the freaking one! F, F tier. That's so -tier. fun! Wow, that's so crazy. Okay, we don't have to do that one. I just thought that was cool. Oh, that is so sweet. Do you love me? So this one is makeup brands. And I want you to rank these makeup brands. So you put Too Faced in the trash category. <sighs> yeah. How do you feel about Fenty? I, sh sh I, I'm trying to remember a single Fenty product that I know of. Do you know who is the owner of Fenty? Rihanna. Okay. But the, I mean, let's put. I think Snatched is a good thing, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's do some that I know, and then I can fit the rest through the rest. Okay. Of them which there. ones do you know? Kylie. Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Basic. Do you know ColourPop? I do. See, I really like ColourPop, and I so know they get you, a bad rap. Well, where would, no, where would you put it? I'd put them at the Shook, because they're cheap, they have a lot of colors. Uh -huh. Where's um the other one that I like, that I'm not supposed to like? It's not on there. Morphe's not here. Yeah. Oh, no, here it is. This is Morphe. I would put that at, also at Shook. Okay. See, here's the thing, is I feel like they make good makeup, but mm -hmm. it's so expensive. It is. It is expensive. I would, let's put it at pretty dang good. Okay. Uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the opposite thing. Well, not the opposite, but they. I feel like he makes good makeup but he's mm. a terrible human being yes so like let's put it at like the basic because it's not t the makeup itself is good right let's do tart <laughs> okay where i you like put tart where would you put them let's put that at snatched snatched okay um elf oh that's drugstore right yep shook you like the cheap stuff. shook um kim kardashian beauty trash cover girl snatched I like some of their stuff. Some of their stuff is pretty good. Mac. Mac. Like you've tried their stuff. I can only see press. I can only picture like pressed powders and like foundation. Um, it actually summarizes their brand pretty well. So I'm gonna give them a pretty dang good because to me okay. they're just kind of like. Mm -hmm. I like NYX though. They make. Where's they NYX? have some really cool. I this. I always go and look at the NYX part in Sephora Ulta, while you, you mean? Alta. Yeah. While you're doing stuff because they have cool colors. So, so I'll put them at Snatched. Okay. Um, Rimmel or drugstore. That brand. sounds like. Something Wait, I should you give you think. no context because you didn't give me any context for the okay. Pokemon. So. I know nothing about Rimmel and it, I don't like saying the word, so trash. Okay. Give Fenty pretty dang good. Okay. Dior. For men. That's all I know. <laughs> but, and they make really weird car commercials, <laughs> like really weird scent commercials. So yeah. I'm, didn't they just do one with Johnny Depp? Yeah, I think so. I think that was Dior. So let's do Trash. Okay, like Clinique. We'll put that at Snatched. I know your mom likes it a lot. My mom does love Clinique. I feel like I like milk makeup. I have no reasoning for that, but I feel like I remember liking it. Okay. So we'll put that at pretty dang good. Smashbox, basic. I don't really care about it. That's very true. BH Cosmetics. Now, I know that the, there's a couple BH products that you really like. Mm-hmm. Because I, I, I feel like I can hear the words in your brain. This is by BH Cosmetics. I really like it. I can't stop using it. So let's put it at Snatched. All right. Laura Mercier. I know that one. Basic. Sephora. I feel like Sephora brand makeup is like, that's like, ba let's go basic. Because that's like intro level makeup, isn't it? Yes. It's almost like kids play well, side of makeup. Well, they do. T I'll explain after. But. Hourglass Foundation. I know you use that a lot. So I'll put that up at Snatched. Okay. Uh, Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's trash. Okay. <laughs> next. Sephora. Put it right next to the other Sephora. Wait, is there two Sephoras? Yeah. Oh. This is the JCPenney Sephora. Oh. So <laughs> they put that at trash, actually. Okay. Um, Bare Minerals. That's drugstore. So we'll put them at basic. That's, I don't really know much about them. Wet and Wild. They make those little tiki masks that I like. Shook. They make those little what? Oh, they're not actually tiki masks, so what are they? Where's your these things? That's not who makes them. Uh oh, it says <laughs> it's okay. Uh, well, we've been there. Okay. You know what? Sure, they earned it. They bamboozled me. Cover FX, pretty dang good. L'Oreal. Yep. 
uh, one of the original members of the Elite Four. She specialized in ice type Shook. All right, next. I don't know any of these brands. Stella, I feel like I know. Uh huh. Let's put that at. I can tell this is stressing you out. Pretty dang good. Okay. Benefit is another word. I've heard you say that a lot. Benefit okay. Cosmetics. Okay. Context clues. So. But is it a good way or a bad way? That's the problem. Snatched. Snatched? All right. I don't know. Makeup Revolution sounds familiar. Yeah. But I they, I don't like the logo. So trash. That's fair. Okay. Milani. Trash. Because oh, I know okay. it's expensive and I know you didn't like it. <laughs> okay. Bobby Brown. Don't know anything about that. Okay. So we're going to leave it off. No, other than, we're not. It off? Isn't that the lead? Isn't she an actress in uh, no. Stranger Things? <laughs> nope. Bobby Brown? That's Millie Bobby Brown. Oh, is this a relation? Nope. She does have her own makeup line though. Uh, I, I don't know anything else on here, so we'll just leave everything else off. No, you have to like guess. Okay, so I'll go purely based on the logos now. Because I that's what I did with the Pokemon. I just Fair. did it off aesthetics. Flower. Uh, trash. Oh, don't like it. Don't like flowers. What is that? Sleek makeup? Mm -hmm. that trash. Okay. Don't like it. Farsali? Yep. You're running out of room trash. on trash. <laughs> You're running out of room <laughs> on trash. Glossier will put pretty dang good. Glossier. Glossier. Makeup forever. A lot of words, a lot of syllables uh, snatched. Millie Bobby Brown will put in Shook because I really liked her in Stranger Things. And what's this last one say? Lime Crime. Lime Crime? Mm -hmm. Leave it off. Doesn't even no, make the board. No, we have to do this. Doesn't even make the board. Lime Crime. Basic, I guess, because we're out of room and trash. So How'd I do? This is your thing. <laughs> You're actually wrong on a lot of things. Um, Milani is not expensive at all. It's very affordable and really? I really love the brand. I have five of their blushes right here. Like I love um. Milani and they're really affordable. They're a drugstore brand. I'm trying to think what else you got like blatantly wrong. Most of this I just disagree with because I've like tried the makeup. But I feel like as far as like mm -hmm. knowing brands, you did a pretty good job. Like you knew what brands were good and bad for the most part. You don't have any like problematic brands except for Wet n Wild up here. So problematic? I would, well, they lied about being cruelty free allegedly. Yeah. To be fair, I only thought they were up here because they made this. So, <laughs> I thought they made this. He thought this they one. made the Essence Lash Princess, which he does know that I love, so I give which... him credit for that. I'm gonna reset this and I'll do mine. So this would be my makeup ranking. I'd have Anastasia and Fenty at the top. I thought ColourPop was bad now. No, they're just, they just release too much. <laughs> most most of the brands that are at the bottom are either, I think their products are a scam, like for Solly, or I just don't like You who. also put Too Faced down there. Yeah, because the owner is trash. So I just like, want to say, I've been calling that for... Keep it consistent. Literally forever. Yeah. And I see that you're not a fan of the original Ice Type trainer of the Elite Four. It's fine. You don't have to be. All right, let's do an outro. <laughs> All right, friends. So that was us ranking things. Uh, did you have fun? I did. I liked that one. Yeah, that was a good time, actually. If you want us to do another one of these, I actually really I want to do that it. on a stream. I do, too. If you guys want us to do a live stream where we rank things, we definitely will, because I think it could be fun to get, like, your guys' input on it as well. Let us know down below how you would rank some of these things. I think it's kind of fun. Um, do you have anything you want to say? Mudkip is a S tier Pokemon. If you don't think so, you're just completely wrong. I can't trust your opinion on anything. Anything. All right. So that was that. Um, <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither honestly just so happy you're watching me thank you so much for being here my merch which i believe yeah january 1st gone forever so well glomus merch is <laughs> um glomus merch will be gone january 1st so make sure you grab that if you wanted to this is your last couple of days to do that my social media and everything i'm wearing on my face will be linked down below along with a what Link to register to vote. A link to register to vote. You can click on that link, you can register to vote, and you can be part of your democracy. It's the best way to start 2020. And if you are not from the United States and that link does not apply to you, please make sure you're staying informed on what's going on in your part of the world, in your 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 town. Just use your voice in a positive way if you can, because the world absolutely needs more of that. Um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you <laughs> in the next one. Bye! Bye.